everyone, today I'm going to share with you my May favourites. I've got some beauty things as well as a couple of random things at the end. So I'm just going to jump right into it and not ramble on. I'm still on my lip gloss hype. I'm just obsessed with lip gloss at the moment. I've never really liked it but I'm really loving it at the moment and wearing it pretty much every day. So I've got two brands to show you that I've loved this month. And I'm still loving my NYX ones that I mentioned, my NYX one that I mentioned last month. But I've got some new ones to show you. So, I have these two Barry M ones. I've had these for quite a while, but I've not stopped using them this month. These are quite creamy, they're not sticky, and they smell really good too. I've got a coral one, I think it's literally called coral, and this nude limited edition one which was like a free gift with purchase kind of thing but they do like a nude in the permanent collection anyway so you will be able to find a similar colour so really loving these they are quite sheer so they're good to wear with like a strong eye but they're also nice layered over a similar colour lipstick especially if you like a glossy finish but you want a nice pigment you can wear like a nice thick matte lipstick and then put one of these over the top and it just layers really nice looks really good and i am loving them and they're very affordable too which is always a bonus but the next two glosses are from tanya burr's lip gloss collection and i obviously wanted to try them because i've watched tanya since i started watching youtube videos and discovered them and i wanted to support her so obviously I picked some up. The two ones I have are Picnic in the Park, which is a gorgeous bright pink, and Afternoon Tea. These are so pigmented and long lasting for a lip gloss, it's amazing. I've not used a lip gloss like it. They manage to be really thick in consistency and really stick around on the lips a lot without being sticky. It's just like they're the perfect formula of a mixture between the two because a lot of lip glosses that last long are very sticky and just aren't very comfortable to wear. These are just so comfortable on the lips and they last ages. I can stick them on at work and I'm not worried that my lip gloss has just slid off and disappeared and the colour stays around and they smell like strawberry laces which is amazing and a massive bonus and I'm just going to smell them now to confirm that they do literally smell like strawberry laces. The next thing I wanted to mention is the Rimmel 25 hour foundation and I've just finished up a bottle of this stuff, I think it's my second bottle. Um, I've used this stuff for years now and I still love it. I love a really good medium coverage nothing too like mask like but I definitely like to cover up redness and really even out the skin and look flawless and this really achieves that as well as having such a beautiful finish it's not too matte it's not too dewy it's just somewhere in between and it's just perfect I just love it so much um and I will definitely be buying another bottle soon because I'm kind of like nervous that I don't have this now. It's one of those products that you need to have on hand because you just rely on it. My final beauty favourite is the Superdrug Dry Shampoo. I picked this up because I've heard quite a few people saying that it's one of the best dry shampoos. And I've used Batiste for years. And I always thought that Batiste was just the best one and I just carried on buying Batiste ones. But I thought I'd check this one out and I actually prefer it to the Batiste. And that is because since going brunette, I find dry shampoo a real faff when it comes to leaving that grey, white, weird looking cast on your hair. Feeling really chalky and just almost like emphasising your roots rather than like covering up the grease. It's just much more of a light mist over your hair but it still works. I don't know how it works like that but 
it does still like soak up the oils but it doesn't leave any kind of residue whatsoever. If you are brunette and you do hate that white cast that dry shampoo leaves you with then you might want to try this one out if you've not already because I find that it's just really invisible in the hair and I'm really loving it. If you watched my scrummy box unboxing video you'll have seen this already but I wanted to mention it in my favourites because I'm loving it and it is the On Bar um, Cacao Bar. It's basically raw cacao so there's not really a lot to show you because I've got the wrapper and I've got like two squares left because I've been eating it but I just wanted to show you like the <laughs> the wrapper because then you can see what it looks like. Um, but it's just a little raw cacao bar and I have been loving it because it really satisfies that late night sweet craving that you get after dinner when you sat with a cup of tea and all you want is a chocolate bar. And the last thing that I wanted to mention has to do with productivity. Generally when I'm on the go, um, I'll think of something, like I'll see something and it'll trigger something in my brain like oh I need to buy this or I need to do this and then generally like you'll move on to doing something else if you're on your way to work or whatever or you're out shopping and then that stuff gets pushed to the back of your brain or it gets forgotten about and that's when I start to like forget things or put things off or things just don't get done. So I picked myself up this little cute notebook from WH Smiths and it was only £5 and it's just a nice pretty bright pattern, it's really cute to look at and it's a really nice like magnetic close. If you're a stationary like addict like me then you'll also get really excited about stationery and there's often like a stationery item in my random favourites of the month. I literally just jot anything down that comes into my head. This is a really good thing to have and especially like by your bed at night time because a lot of the time you're so busy during the day and when you lie in bed you're thinking of like another a thousand things that need to get done the day after. If you like that then keep a notebook by your bed and just write it down. You're gonna sleep a lot better, you're gonna feel a lot less stressed because you know that it's going to get done because it's in here and you're going to look at it and see it. So you don't have to be thinking about all those things in your head. So I just thought that was a really useful tip because that's something that I've discovered this month and it's really helped me. Please let me know what your favourites are. I'd love your recommendations. I'm so excited for June because June is just one of the best months of the year. It's the start of summer. I'm going on holiday and it's just going to be a really positive happy month for me so I really hope it is for you as well and I really hope to see you in my next video. Okay, thank you for watching, bye!